Now you are empowered and you have the ability to, when you say it, it becomes real like that. When you think it, it becomes real like that. So understand the biggest mistake people make is they're a thinking, not knowing. Thinking, not feeling. The feeling is the validator. Welcome to the Consciousness of the Way, my Divine Delectable co-host, High Priestess Jade. Howdy. Howdy. And welcome to you, you beautiful being. Welcome into your new reality. And I'm your humble servant and Sifu, Taoist Master Sun Quinn. Sound, oh sound. How precious, how beautiful. How refreshing. Mm. How that single note that still resonates through your very being. That's the frequency, the vibration of supreme purity. Tao Jin Lao Jin. Latsu. That pure resonance. It's oscillating with your, within your very cells. And this is the power of what we speak on. This is the power of everything that we know that is energy, frequency, vibration, and is taking place every second of every minute. And this is an amplification of your very experience of that zero point energy, that black hole energy, that singular, that oneness, that whole that is you. Yeah, and the power of that vibration is just, uh, I mean, you, you contrast like a baby crying to laughter or something and just how those sounds completely hit you and vibrate you in such a different way. And it's the messenger. Mm -hmm. It's the messenger to uh, resolve, the messenger to acquire whatever it is that you need that's the power of what we speak on and when you apply this serendipity coincidence absolute pure luck becomes your default to your reality and that is for you to realize and that's what we do here and through the experience, through the incredible integrated ancient practices that we hand down, that is for you to decipher, discern, and apply to your very humanness, your human being experience as an eternal immortal being. And that's what we have here today. Today we're going to speak on the very glue that holds together the fundamentals of what is the field, what is the quantum, that plasma that seems to be um, undetectable by the human eye, yet it is in every single essence of what you consider space. 
There is no space between us, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. And that is realized with this zero point energy that comes from the black hole. That is a part of an ancient practice that is realized within Taoism and has been for thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of years. And we apply it. We've known for, as I said, many, many, many thousands of years, the power of this as being the epicenter of universal access. And that's why we stress on that. As, as the star falls, the phoenix rises from the ashes, and then you envelop your middle Dantian, your truth teller, your heart, in other practices, they may even call it a chakra. And this is that realization, that tuning fork starts at a baseline with your intuition. And that intuition is dead on accurate to the very essence. You call on it within your mind and you will be answered immediately. That information will be handed to you and it's never wrong. This is a basic ground level understanding of a sensory perception level up that is acquired immediately just from sharing it with you today. And so we're reminiscing this as Taoists, as human beings, this ancient mystical journey that people have been going on for thousands of years, tens of thousands of years for a Taoist, and then acquiring the secret source that gives you the access point, magnifying the tuning fork. And sound is what is the messenger that affects your the, the neural pathways, the soft technology that you identify as your physical body and has an amplitude of an effect to how loud your message is. And the louder the message the faster the message, the more efficient the message, and the realization and manifestation of that message instantaneously. So when we say you must feel it, we're not kidding. Do you think for people um, who want to access this like black hole energy, this mm -hmm. infinite source of energy, they should approach it in the in the sense of how we discuss manifestation, mm -hmm. where you want to try to access this when you're at that highest frequency. I think a lot of people, um, when things are good, they're happy. They're not trying to master themselves. They're not focusing on this stuff. But then when things are bad, or, you know, hey, I'm just really struggling, that's when I want access to it. Mm -hmm. And is that necessarily kind of when you're in that lower vibration that that you want to go, okay, now I want to practice to see if mm -hmm. I can get a hold of this. Right, right. And I mean, that's part of the neurology. That's why it's so important to master that. And we do it through visual and audible experiences, creating that kinesthetic charge. And that's the validation that you get as a human being. Your nervous system, your body will respond to whatever it has been given and it will validate to you and confirm to you the truth of what it is by having that physiological effect. The instant calm, the instant relaxation, the instant sleep, the instant focus, the instant creativity, the instant manifestation. This is part of the side effects of when you acquire that gamma frequency that envelops the whole brain, making you basically superhuman to most, but in actuality is, is just the basic potential default of all human beings. You just have to acquire it through a sequence of events that elevate the signal that is equal to or greater than. And so, you know, understand this, look at this as a framework. When you invest in a thought, feeling, and emotion which is realized as anger, sadness, fear, 
it's instantaneous. Have you noticed that? You're able to instantly manifest fear, anger, frustration, hopelessness. I mean, the list goes on. When you acquire this state, what are the side effects? One bad thing happens after another. Ever thought about that? One bad thing ha happens after another. That realization is sobering but it's true it's true because you are able to confirm it with what i speak on right now it's not true because i say it is it's true because you already have reference to it so whatever i'm speaking on you're like oh my goodness sifu you are correct when i recall anything that happens to me up to this point of realization of what you have said it's being validated of what you're saying, I'm able to validate it through my own life experiences. And that is an epiphany. That is the tipping point. That is the consciousness that we speak of. That is the place you want to be, arising to something greater by being able to validate that. Key point. Essence. Truth to all things. And so, when this takes place and we use and that you know for all indigenous ancient practices all these rituals that we speak on people talk about uh, neuroplasticity they talk about neurology they talk about um, psychology they talk about brain waves they talk about the feeling these are they are no new concepts there are no new um, realizations you know, just indigenous practices that maybe Taoist, Hindu, um, um, whatever the the practice, the religion, the philosophy, the belief system, how ancient it is, from Egyptian to Hindu to to Taoist, they go back thousands and tens of thousands of years, and mostly the question is this. We have all these uh, uh, artifacts depicting, you know, ideographs, pic, pic, pictor, pictorial um, or, or images that we use as a form of language that was more integrated tens of thousands of years and, and speaking on it within um, Chinese culture, you know, seven eight generations of change to the language that ultimately is what you speak on today. And it was, it was they basically shifted with every emperor that was realized within the history of China. And so, you know, even before that, when the Jade Emperor and Yellow Emperor, you know, reigned upon China before you knew it as that, they had their own language but it was highly sophisticated. It, it was integration of many things, but we can speak on it six to 10,000 years ago as, a, as an ideograph, sort of pictory uh, story of how you use images to create information. And so this is sort of the journey that we all go on to create um, a realization but their realization was no different than what you're having right now which is holy moly i feel this whatever he's speaking on oh there's something going on with me i'm feeling i'm feeling pretty good because you're gravitating to it just like it's words numbers symbols letters these are all integrated into your dna when i say that it resonates with you. When I say that, you feel a charge because that's the truth to you. It's not because I say it is. It's because you're right, be able to validate it. And this comes back to the neurology component. And then what Jade and I talk about with the zero-point energy, the, the black hole energy, how that's the inner workings, the plasma of what we have coined as the field, the quantum, the Planck zero-point energy, Again, another reference point for anyone that doesn't know. A lot of people use that. That's referring to a guy 
back in the 1940s that discovered um, this, this plasma through trial and error, actually, who at the same time Albert Einstein did, and his name was Max Planck. So don't get all like, oh my goodness, I don't know about this Planck. What is the Planck energy? It's the field. But you know, he discovered it, sure. Well, it's really Tao energy. It's like Tao zero point energy because the Tao realized it a long time before Max Planck existed. But again, we're using some of the premises and the fundamental understanding of quantum physics, which is a fairly new language, only 100 years, if that, that helps you have a deeper understanding or a validation of what is true to you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's so, so powerful when you just think of the concept mm. of, like, how does somebody who's deaf, who has lost that hearing perception, um, hear music, or feel music, I should say, you know, and it's like incredible. There's so many um, deaf people that are incredible singers who've never even heard their own voice or incredible dancers who can get that vibration. And it's when you take that sense away, it's still like that transfer is still there. It's still the energy. It's still the frequency. It's whether, whether that sense is being realized or not, your body is, you know, moving with it. Oh, yeah. And I mean, that sequence comes down to the, the three fundamentals of all things realized. Thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Mm -hmm. And so we speak on the sound. You felt that resonance of that sound that was the frequency, vibration, and energy of supreme purity. Tao Xin Lao Xin. Latsu. And they are different variants because they're all, each one of them is individual, yet they have similar frequency, resonance, vibration, but they're still individual. This is why when people talk about, oh, it's all the same, you know, the field, the this, the that, I refer to it as that, but I can absolutely tell you fundamentally the, the signature of an energy frequency vibration, a spirit, is completely different to the next one. Even though you might go, oh, look, there's two gods standing there. No, there is a different fundamental frequency, energy, and vibration from one perception of God to another, depending upon your lens and your consciousness, where you're at, that's realized as now. And so there's still an independent, because you are independent. So I would feel a spirit different than you would feel a spirit, even though <clears throat> we're both staring at the, you know, the same thing in front of us. Yeah, because there's still a, a variation, a slight variation in your signature to mine. Mm -hmm. it's, in, it, it's individual. And then you blend into the field and it become all-knowing. Right. Whoa. 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 Yeah, whoa. <laughs> right, right. And so that is, you know, part and parcel, the, the most important component is that feeling. And if, you, if you're st strayed from understanding the mechanics, which start with that visual and audible, the audible being the sound, the sound is the messenger that takes everything and infuses the cells, thought, feeling, and emotion, and uses the blood as a messenger also to compartmentalize, to shrink it down and materialize it so that you can focus your attention, intention, and alter whatever it is that you're looking at, whatever it is that you're feeling. You're able to change that independent. Yeah, and it's a learned skill. It's a learned skill that um, we've been disconnected from for a while and are starting to come back to this idea of consciousness this idea of the power of my thoughts the power of my intention and how that has an effect on my life and the chemistry within my body my neurology and having that all come back into place mm -hmm. it's like um 
you know, learning to walk and then getting in an accident. And then all of a sudden you're 25 years old and you have to like relearn to walk again. You have to go through that process and then, you know, it clicks. You have that, okay, I, I, I've got it now. Now I'm in this place where I know what to do. I put one foot in front of the other and I keep working on it every day and I keep, um, just expanding my knowledge and information on it. And oh my goodness, look at what I can do now. Right. And that comes out. The The transformation is using this vehicle. And um, when you attempt to um, circumvent you know, the sort of feeling and emotion. This is where you get into a rat in a wheel. So what does that mean, Sifu? What are you talking about? Well, don't you want to stop bad thoughts? Well, yeah, but you don't fixate on them as they become magnified. Your information, your signature that comes out into the field will be realized that way, right? So... If you put your attention, intention to a bad thought, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The ability to sink into the feeling, the signature, the energy, frequency, vibration that it wants you want it to be equal or greater than, it will just disappear. You can't control it. Like you will not be able to manipulate the deeper levels of your consciousness when you envelop the whole brain with this gamma frequency. It's like superpower. And you, you tell your emotions to sit over there and they stay. You have that power within you, but you have to have access 100%. And that comes down to energy frequency vibration. Mm -hmm. And that's why we created the app to give you that instant, instant access, to give you that um, tool in your goodie box to control mm -hmm. your state, control mm -hmm. your emotions, you know, um, regulate your reactiveness to feeding into these emotions and know, hey, I'm feeling this urge to want to react or be angry or be upset. I have, I have a moment right now where I can choose do I want to or do I not want to? I don't have to reflect five hours from now going, wow, I was a real dick. <laughs> right, right. And that kind of like leans on the fundamental understanding of, um, you know, do it now, say sorry later. Mm -hmm. When you have complete control, and I think this is a premise of many belief systems, religions, um, etc. They're put in this place where you can be absolved of your sins, absolved of your actions by just repenting. Um, absolutely. 100%. Moreover, the magnitude of the serendipity, the, the good luck, the fun factory, all the things that are realized... When you're able to dissolve this catalyst that is about to put you in a place where you make a decision from a thought, feeling, and emotion that is lower vibrational, meaning it's not, making, it's not meeting with your dreams, your desires. It's meeting with something that is resisting deep in the core of you and your unconscious. The... the the goal is to access that conscious and make it 100% enveloped. Whereas most people operate 5% consciously, 95% unconsciously. This is a fundamental uh, uh, guard railing that everyone operates on until they don't. Because you only know what you know, you don't know what you don't know. So understand that and realize that can be changed instantaneously. So when you are able to um, change your direction pivoting by the feeling because it evokes that 
you know, you, you're operating on this understanding that I have this cycle of fractal patterns that have generated my reality. One event after another, people call it trauma, you know, past life, progression, bloody blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. These are cycles that you've created. This life, past lives. But those cycles can be completely destroyed instantaneously as you obtain the feeling to access that consciousness so you're 100% the maestro, not 5%. So you flip the tail, you flip the page, you flip the switch. And this is why when we talk about the Wave 126, visual audible experience creating a kinesthetic charge, bridging the gap between the conscious and unconscious. Ooh, see if that sounds like, whoa, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, well it is because when you hit that gamma frequency, you're, you go from 5% conscious to 95% conscious and all 100% conscious, accessing all brain waves at will at once. So highly conscious, highly creative, highly pliable, meaning you can change and shift anything and everything about you, your manifestation skills, your healing skills, your, 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 your record of what is realized, Right now, you can shift it. You have a trauma, say it's gone, it's gone. You have a pain, say it's gone, it's gone. You have a limitation, say it's gone, it's gone. That's what happens when you get that feeling. And all you need to do is synchronize. And so when you hit that through the way 126, you hit that, you create the coherence, brain, heart, and gut. You get the gut feeling, it's 1,000% accurate, and that comes from the brainwave. So... We don't want to dismiss the power of these things, but on a much deeper indigenous level, these are cultivating moments that we access. And then we go deep, deep, deep into the transmitter, the transponder, the receiver that is your pineal gland, your, your register. It's the magical fun factory, one of the three pieces to the puzzle pineal pituitary excuse me thalamus these things are all super powerful and they're related to all things ancient and so again getting back to well how did the ancients know all this stuff if they didn't have computers how were they able to access and realize that that's what true source information is ladies and gentlemen you're getting that information from the field. Their relationship with the universe is realized. They're getting handed that information. They document it. They're able to experience it. And their feeling is the validation. Their visual audible experience from the transmission as consciousness as one is recognized. They're able to document it. They're able to replicate it through these ancient practices. And then it's transmuted into something that's been going on for thousands of years and realized right here, right now. And now we're at a point where you can sort of have a much deeper understanding of the neurological aspects of it that have been going on for thousands of years. I can explain it to you from an indigenous uh, ritual to a spirituality to a theoretical to a biological to a quantum physics. Anything you want, how you want, when you want will be realized right now. Put in your order. And and whatever language you need to hear it in for it to validate with you. One hundred. 100%. And that's the incredible thing about it is you can kind of uh, take that spiritual aspect or indigenous aspect, ancient aspect, but yet quantify it and validate it with scientific terms for for people who that's the language that they speak and and be able to um, have that feeling or create that mechanism for them where they go, wow, I have this feeling. I felt it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and then you have people who just are so spiritual. It's like you don't have to I I don't you don't have to explain any science to me because I'm I'm in that lane and I can feel it the second you start to do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. That as well. That's that this is all part And that's that's you know of that the field. part of interconnection. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Right. 
And so, so that pineal gland or the pine cone, and you know, there are so many things that align with your intuition that come to realization of that. But let's just say that pine cone is realized in many different forms. But when you look at the ancient script, Hindu, Egyptian, Taoism, there's that reference point to this, this pineal gland, the third eye, that is undeniable through the scripture, through illustrations, through drawings, through pictures. It's right there in front of you. And then when that, that's activated, that true source, it's, it's on like Donkey Kong. And you start with that feeling, and then you level up. Your sensory perception is determined by your imagination. That's it, beginning to end. Your imagination will validate it all. Yeah, and that gamma frequency is like being dreamlike where you know in your dreams if you you know some people can control their dreams where it's like <clears throat> hey i'm i'm falling down a hole and now i want to ride a pink elephant and now i want to float into the clouds and then i want to you know have a a unicorn army it's like imagine that but in your real life right now mm-hmm. so you manifest you create you imagine whatever it is you want mm-hmm. and it, it happens. I want this job. I want to move to, you know, this house that I want. I want to have children. I want to meet uh, someone who fulfills me in all these different aspects. It's, you know, and you just create it and, it, and your imagination just explodes with creativity. And then if you go over <clears throat> ancient text, ancient scripture, and moreover, you go over some of the the most innovative, what what we would consider now thought leaders in the space of manifestation. And all of them have passed at this point. But people will reiterate the same material over and over again in the last 50, 100 years. These guys have brought forward um, concepts realized as validation, confirmation that of course they've taken from ancient script. And the resonating general consensus with all this stuff is one thing. You know what that one thing is? It's the feeling. And once you access that and you mimic it, you replicate it, and the more you do it at will, the faster you drag things towards you, the faster you become a magnet. Understand this. When you validate it and it's confirmed with you and you have created it by following our step-by-step, you can go and use our manifestation video. People are manifesting all types of different things from that, that video. You know, new lives, bags of money, whatever it is that you desire. Mm-hmm. And that comes from that feeling. And so... You want that signature to resonate there. Now, ultimately, the flip the switch. Your manifestation is completely hinged upon your feeling and your knowing that it is real. And this has a rippling effect as the field. Now, how fast that takes place is truly what you accept at face value. So what you accept at face value will have a rippling effect. The more you are just like, ah, whatever. Yeah. If you just go, hey, whatever, you know, um, bag of money, car, whatever, I promise you, and you get that supercharge like you just did, that energetic charge, it will instantaneously materialize. And you'll wake, you know, if you're homeless, you'll wake up in a Lamborghini. If you're, if you're helpless, you'll wake up in a community of unconditional loving beings that just want to embrace you as a whole as a singular as a collective all these things will be materialized and it starts and ends with you and so of course as human beings we want to validate it so the more you can resonate there and that's why we use music as a a base level because that artist was 
resonating at that frequency to create that music, that that feel-good moment, that peak that you get is the signature of the field. And that becomes real. And so you all you're doing is like they've already put it out there. It's like we can print this out as many times as we want. Just get there, get to that point and resonate there and vibrate there and envelop and engulf all the incredible essence of that profound gamma frequency moment because I 1 million percent guarantee to hit that peak, they have to resonate in the gamma. And they will be resonating the gamma. If we had an EEG on whoever it is, any artist that creates music, they are there. That is the sign of creativity, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies. It's happening. Yeah, I was just thinking like, so our kids love the song like Gangnam Style. And (laughs) it's such a goofy song, but it's like you can't help but like listen infectious yes and like when he created that that rippling effect it was like everyone looked at him like oh my god you're crazy this will never like people don't want to listen this i think this is garbage this is trash this is this is this is comedy versus like music but like his honestly his belief in like this is what i want to put out and how i want to do it and and it's going to resonate and his belief system in itself had like you said that rippling effect that really and then more people listening to it their rippling effect and more people listening to it their rippling effect i mean i really don't think it has any effect i think you know when i was looking at it my kids watch it once or twice a week even now I think unfortunately it's only got like four billion views on it or something of that yeah. nature. I mean, on I really, I'm pretty sure <laughs> no one's ever watched it before or I heard think, it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure that it's even effective at all. In any case, and so this type of stuff mm-hmm. is is how you you gain that access point. And so, the ancient access point with the pineal gland, because all these things are happening instantaneous, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. So, let me just break it down for you. Okay, see, Phil, I need to hear it so you can ha- understand the mechanism. So when you say bag of money, when you say perfect partner, when you say uh, I want a, a, a $40 million house, when you say I want a charmed life, when you say whatever it is, manufacture it, create the architecture, know exactly what it is. And once you hit that signature frequency, it's realized there ain't nothing there ain't nothing stopping that from taking place it will go equal to or greater than and meet in at on the field as your manifestation your healing your magic and the validator is the feeling mm-hmm. and so the this is what happens you're john smith you're sitting here you're listening to seafood, see, seafood, Sifu see, see and Jade. And they're talking about manifestation. And you're like getting comfortable in your seat. You're watching the podcast. You're like, I'm starting to feel a little frisky. And them just talking about this stuff is giving me this energetic charge. And um, my goodness. So what happens is this is the play-by-play, picosecond-by-picosecond realization Thought, feeling, and emotion activates the alchemical fun factory, pineal pituitary thalamus, realized in the ultimate chemistry of manifestation that has a rippling effect within the blood that is the messenger that turns on, guess what? The brainwave frequency and absolutely gives you complete when you're 100%, you have complete charge of your cellular function. That is what we talk about when we talk about that mastery. So now you are now pure source energy. You are the manifestation. You are the magic. You are the healing. Instantly, it's the collapsing of wave to matter to particle. All this is realized. You are dissolved in conceptually your mind's eye realized as that as a whole as the field and that is out and meets equal to whatever it is that you desire and it has a rippling effect that is realized 
into your very life as a magnet. It draws it to you. That's how powerful it is. That's how quickly it happens. And the limiting um, process of that is your belief system. So that's why we always talk about the truth is the only truth is your truth that you need to be concerned with. And when that happens, anything is possible. So these sort of mechanisms take place. Now, on a much broader macro cycle, you are now realized as this thought, feeling, and emotion that creates the chemistry that activates this brain wave through this flesh and blood you conceive as your physical body, which is really the perception of your reality in its entirety. That's really what it is. Your perception of your reality is realized into the field and then the material wave to matter to particle that is generated from the thought feeling and emotion is then dropped off right in front of you you draw it closer to you so the more you can stay in that resonation so for example you put it out there you find the peak song you put it out there it's done if you do that on the hour every hour I, i'm sorry i i disclaimer I can't possibly stop, you know. But you, I said, see, for just one Lamborghini, how did 15 of them turn up at my doorstep? That is on you. I understand that. But the more that frequency, energy, vibration is maintained, as you get your, your feet wet, as a, as a green manifester, someone new to the experience, it might take you a, a few moments to calibrate to understand that this is real. But once that takes place, all bets are off. So you, the more confirmation is part of this fractal pattern we speak of. So you get another confirmation, which leads to another confirmation, which leads to another confirmation, which leads to another confirmation. And what happens is the mo bigger the magnitude comes down to the 72-hour challenge. The 72-hour challenge is very simple. Accept and allow everything. And by the 24th hour of the 72 hours, your life becomes absolutely serendipity, synchronicity, charm, effortless, infinite, abundant, timeless, endless, limitless. And this is all because you are allowing the magnitude of your expansion, not the contraction of your energy, frequency, and vibration, which comes from lower vibrational thoughts. When you are in thoughts, when you are in thoughts, understand this. So it's a Pacifu. Hang on. You said a thought, feeling, and emotion. Understand that the rippling effect from a thought, feeling, and emotion transpires into the chemistry that is realized in the field. You must have the feeling and the emotion also. But if you stay in the thought, which is where most people reside, which makes you very limited, which makes you operating in the very 5% of your uh, potential, imagine this. This happens all the time. People wait for the end of the year to create a resolution for the following year. And they go, this is my magical time. It's New Year's Eve. You look at your wife and you say, guess what? I'm going to take the garbage out every weekend. <laughs> and you're like, I'm on it. I feel it. I'm so energized. I'm looking into these beautiful pools of absolute divine purity which is your wife's eyes of course and you go you know what i'm on it and your personality which is the sum the little five percent that you're operating on which most people are until they realize they're they're not because you only know what you know you don't know what you don't know new year's eve comes and goes and a week later and your wife's looking at you like and I, and, I, and you're like She's like, it's been a week and you haven't taken the garbage out. Uh, oh, yeah, that was last year. I'm kind of, I'm working on it. I'm trying my best to achieve that goal. And so what does that mean, Sifa? What are you getting? What are you insinuating? Well, let me explain it to you. If you're operating at 5% consciously, the idea of willpower is a, a fallacy. Do you understand? Now, when you switch the script and you're operating at 95% consciously, all bets are off. Now, 
you are empowered and you have the ability to, when you say it, it becomes real, like that. When you think it, it becomes real, like that. So understand the biggest mistake people make is they're a thinking not knowing, thinking not feeling. The feeling is the validator. So when you're in a thought, and that's what it is, it's a rat in a wheel thought, and you're, what you've done is then evoked an emotion that is a low vibrational emotion. When you are accessing that gamma frequency, you are feel good, you are on point, you are not feeling depressed, anxious, anxiety, fear, all these things that plague people that can be completely beaten to a pulp because you have the power within you to do so. So we just help you along using all these ancient practices, Nigong, Qigong, quantum physics, epigenetics, 11 herbs and spices realized within the app that we released that you will hit it dead on accurate every time you are realized evoking that gamma brainwave instantaneously and it will be validated by you because you will feel it and you will know it. And when you decide you want to destroy um, a, a disbelief, um, expand your belief system to be unlimited, um, tell yourself you're going to take the garbage out and then you will take the garbage out. And all of a sudden, your wife will wake up and go, man, you're one badass manifester. <laughs> or maybe she is. Right, right. And, and you know, that realization and understanding that you can get compelled to a certain point, but then you fall short with thoughts, ideas, words. They're not enough. The emotion and feeling must match the thought. And so when people get caught in this limbo, they stay in the thought and it's entertained by a lower emotion which evokes a feeling that makes you feel like crap. It's really simple. And you want to gravitate away from it by using some external force, drugs, alcohol, whatever is necessary for you to acquire it. But you have it within you. That's why we validate and support you unconditionally helping you realize, you beautiful being, that you have the ability to do anything and that neurology evokes that brainwave that is realized as the field. Does that make sense? I don't know. Have I explained it well enough or is it confusing? Yeah, and that's why the Way 126, it is a daily practice um, because you are constantly staying within that. You're staying within that frequency, within that vibration, within that, that high-level uh, gamma brainwave until it becomes so entrained that you can access it at will whenever you want. And that's the entraining part. That's the yes. that's the soft technology we speak of. Mm -hmm. And you can measure it every day. You spend 27 minutes on the way 126, that's equivalent to eight hours of sleep, eight hours of meditation, eight hours of relaxation, eight hours of pure focus. And that's creativity, baby. That's a guarantee. You got sleep problems gone. You got attention problems gone. You've got relaxation problems gone. And that speaks to you volume wise because we use these ancient techniques the Qigong, moving energy with your breath, Qigong, moving energy with your mind. These are all integrated and you are able, you're trained in it and then you're able to use them instantaneously and validate it yourself. The most important thing is you validate your most precious time and effort is instantly realized and you can validate it. I put in 27 minutes, my goodness, I am so goddamn relaxed. Oh, I put in 27, I am able to focus and laser focus on anything because you're evoking that brain wave. It's creating new synapses, energy, information, highways in the brain and activating those neurons. That is materialized. And so then you're able to do it at will, just as Jade mentioned. That was the whole point, is mastering yourself. And the mastery then can come in the form of magic, manifestation, healing, whatever it is. Just get a handle of that feeling, which is the absolute validator that evokes the brainwaves that is realized as the field. Yeah. It's like everyone is kind of all, we're, we're all starting either at, ground level or like you know negative almost at this point we want to get you to ground level and once you go okay I'm now at ground level now I can start to 
run, jump, fly, because I've gotten past all that stuff, I'm now I could be, you know, I'm not having to uh, kind of struggle in the weeds as much, because I've surpassed that I'm I'm actually starting at my default, which is controlling your state, being the master keeper creator of your reality. That's, that's a default. Right. right. And that's, we're, we're just at a negative here that we got to get people up to that default to then have them go be unlimited and be unlimited. And that's the power of what you have inside you. And it's just a matter of being it, it being dust off or realized. And so all of a sudden, your 5% turns into 95%, and then you're unstoppable. Well, imagine manifesting a, a success rate of 95% of the time. Right. Versus 5% right. of the time. And the key is the feeling. Yep. The key is the brainwave. The key is the realization. And then it's all yours. And that's all we want for you. And that's why these tools are so powerful. And they're instantaneous. Mm-hmm. Second to none. So, understand that, know that to be true. Those access points, the neurology, the sound, the imagery, and your list of whatever you want, realize that's how fast it happens. There is no exception to the rule. And I think that's why people are very gravitated towards like affirmations or vision boards or um, like constant reminders that of what it is they're manifesting or, or thinking about. And, and these have been great tools for if it resonates with you, it can be an amazing tool um, to keep you in that manifestation brainwave, keep you in that manifestation um, feeling. Yeah. Critical, without question. Mm-hmm. And then you understand the mechanisms behind the zero point energy because everything is interconnected. Everything between you and I, it looks like space, but it's absolutely full with this zero point energy that is the chi, that is the universe. And they're the connected dots that make it possible for everything that's oscillating. Whatever's happening here or on the other side of the world is affected instantaneously. It's not a delayed response. We're moving faster than the speed of light. That's where I'm able to read someone's future, read someone's present, read someone's past within their field because that's being realized. Absolutely. And when you train those senses, again, mm. the, the messages, the information just comes to you right. however however your language is being processed and you just get that stuff instantaneously. Mm. You look at someone and you're just like, oh, I feel like they need a hug or, you know, I, <laughs> I, I just felt like I needed to tell you how amazing you were today or smile or, so, you know. And, and, and you do, and you'll find too, especially the more you resonate with that, that people are just gravitated to you, right. you know, you'll, you'll get these people. It's just, I don't know why, but I felt like I had to come and say hello or, right. or, or yeah. tell you, you know, tell you, you're, you're doing amazing today. And that frequency, energy, vibration, mm-hmm. second to none. And that brings me back to the black hole energy. It's just like, you know. 10, 20 years ago when the Jade Emperor was realized as, you know, a messenger from the Tao into this creation that we call, you know, earth, manifestation, magic, healing, consciousness. Consciousness, what is consciousness? That's realized by the Tao as what we see in front of us, all being manifested by that realization. So, you know, 10, 20 years ago, 20, 10 or 20,000 years ago with the Jade Emperor, who this is a transmutation of the Yellow Emperor, and it goes back and forth, but those type of semantics are more details for another time. But understand this, the Jade Emperor is one of the key entry points to the cosmos for Taoists. And, you know, understanding how he realized this mechanism that is so powerful, the universe showed him immediately, just as the universe showed the Yellow Emperor, this interconnection with the human being and the universe as one. And then we spoke, spoke moreover, 
just before on the indigenous practices of how are they able to be able to identify these things, yet they didn't have computers, they didn't have, because they're getting direct source information from the universe, and that taps into the very essence of all things. And so part of um, this realization of the black hole energy, which is not a vortex that sucks everything out. It's actually limitless, infinite, abundant of abundance of energy. And that comes from, you know, the the vortex within the black hole, the wormhole. And then you have the uh, event horizon, which is the lip of that black hole. Now, from a Taoist, we had thousands of these pyramids that were transformed and transmuted um, in the forms of mountains but if you look closer especially within China and you know especially where we are there are no coincidences around here but I literally am looking at these formations these natural formations that are that literally have these fractal patterns these geometric patterns that are realized as these powerful you know triangles and they create different there you go. What's that? What's that? Mm-hmm. that feeling and understanding so when they were formed 20,000 years ago with the Jade Emperor it was in the form of this natural formation that the Tao had created as what we perceive it as a pyramid and even today in China the last sighting of the visual sighting of these pyramids was back in the 1940s but they've been around for thousands of years and then they've attempted to cover them up through other means so one part of the world that you cannot be able to attain true access other than if you're me and i can get it directly from the source you're not gonna be able to get into those pyramids Mm -mm. so the jade emperor had this formation he was materialized by the Tao as one entry point of the cosmos like instantaneously like click my fingers and it's on like donkey kong and there were several elements that drew the formation of the jade emperor primarily the transmutation of the earth and you know you feel the density of what i'm talking about that transmutation of the earth was then realized and compressed and turned from wave to matter to particle and poof we have the Jade Emperor. <laughs> Woo! What? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm just vibrating I with it. I know, there's so much energy. So so you, you have this formation of the Jade Emperor that was re- realized as, you know, a, a humanist form of the Earth itself on planet Earth, materialized from the connection of the Tao, realizing its consciousness that I've formatted, formatted and created this universe and then to the next level realized that we're going to transmute the earth and have it realized into a hum, human form, which was then the Jade Emperor. Now, you can feel the juice on that bad boy. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And so that transmutation and realization wave to matter to particle as the Tao's consciousness came from a much deeper level of drawing on specific constellations that were then also infused with the essence of the earth creating the jade emperor (laughs) whoa and so there were three constellations that were associated with his upper middle and lower dantian that were infused into his flesh and blood which is flesh and blood in turn as a materialization using that earth energy and the constellation energy whoa now that power then formed his physical form and it was like just talk about you want you know a teleporting there was a teleporting of consciousness from the Tao to realize the jade emperor who happened to be the first phase in the portal of the realization of the cosmos now that's a much deeper thing from a Taoist, but that formation of the jade emperor realized with the constellations and the earth transmuted into wave to matter to particle this physical body and you know all knowing all powerful the jade emperor is 
he is the gateway and source to information. So he's the keeper of the middle Dantian, all things information, which is also reflective of the Jade Purity, which is another variation, completely different to the Jade Emperor, but the two are the same. Sounds the same, Jade Emperor? No, 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 no. Be very clear. And so when it comes to black hole energy, once he was materialized, he was given a directive from the Tao, from the universe, an understanding of these pyramids that were laid across every, every as far as his eyes could see. These pyramids were everywhere. They were natural formations that looked very much like a triangle-shaped mountain. And there were one or two of them that were actually had the tops taken off them already, which is very reminiscent of what's going on in China that you can't get your hands on. Now, on a much deeper level, that top is the portal and access point to the black hole energy. So leading forward to maybe a thousand years before now or over several thousands of years, the Jade Emperor would transmute this information from one Taoist um, immortal to another into flesh and blood, into Taoist priest, Taoist master, and this would be rippling as, into what we know now as the ancient Taoist practices that we, we uh, replicate. And so when you ride the wave of whatever it is that we put into these visual audible experiences, they're hinged on thousands of years of ritual and cultivation. That's why they're so powerful. That's why they're instantaneous. You get the benefit of millions of people before you using these, and it's realized now for you instantaneously. That ripple effect that we that, took, <clears throat> talked about earlier. And that ripple effect. So you use the top of the, the formation of this pyramid, and this is the black hole energy. And, of course, from a, a, a ritual perspective, you're using a specific grid. The Taoist priest or master would draw out this, a practitioner would draw out this grid on the top, which would then inv evoke the black hole energy being materialized instantly within the earth. So we're now, we're now realizing instant, infinite, abundant, timeless, endless, limitless energy source that is palpable, but that is tangible, just like we speak on right now, on top of this pyramid. And so you're not having to get into a spaceship and find a black hole somewhere out in the universe where basically a black hole is the dissolving or death of a star. It's realized instantaneously. And so we would then use the sacred infinite flower and the bagua to generate and cultivate manifestation, healing, using specific rituals, which in turn do everything. So the Jain Emperor is a, a manifestation of Earth and three star constellations materialized into this flesh and blood, which is the Tao's manifestation of the first stage in the portal of the cosmos. And so all this has taken place and you feel this black hole energy like we all do right now, going, holy moly, this is real. Yes, it is. And this is what happens when you get direct source information, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. And so this is what the Taoists have leaned on, and it's concentrated, been using for thousands of years, and it's representative of the middle Dantian, the earth energy. And that's the magnetic pull that you get because that's the center of Earth. There is a magnetic field that is transmuted from the center of the Earth that circulates to protect all things that operate within this Earth field. Oh, yeah. And that's what you are. You are all things. And so the truth teller is really the Earth. That's why you have your magnetic full pull there, magnetic field. It's spinning around you right now, and you are having it realized. And when I do that... It has a rippling, chilling effect through your whole body. What were you going to say? 
Oh, I was going to say, um, yeah, I mean, there's like certain places throughout the world that are like called like energy hotspots where they kind of like defy physics or gravity where, you know, um, mm. like if you put a ball, it's supposed to roll down, but it'll like roll up a mm -hmm. hill or, you know, little, little things where they, there's like a, a, you know, they've built a flat board, but then it's like mm. this, but it's level or different things, you know, um, I would, I guess, like tourist attractions, but really, I mean, they're, they're energy uh, hotspots, I mm -hmm. guess I would call portals, them portals, portals yeah, yeah. of this kind of. And then the, what, what a portal really is, is just going to default, just like Jade said about you realizing who you really are. A portal is the default energy. It's the perfect, it's, it's, it's the Tao perfection. So it's not being interrupted by some other stagnant energy that is creating a disturbance that doesn't have the portal flow. And so the black hole energy is in everywhere. When you condense it and you, you create a signature equal to or greater than of energy frequency vibration, it materializes as the default. And that's why it's like, oh man, holy crap. And so if I just drop that in there right now and then I spin it around, And then just let us just embrace that whole, oh, 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 oh. that's crazy. That's nuts. And it's real time. Yes, it's happening to you and it's happening to me. And we're feeling good like we knew we should. And that's the power of that portal. And then I just magnify it. Just make it greater and even greater and even greater. And how about we make it even greater? And how about we turn it up? so that it doesn't stop until you get a biological upgrade. How about that? Okay, that's great. Thank you, Sifu. This is crazy. How is this happening? That's what I do. And that's kind of nuts. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it will keep working on you and the audience, everyone here in the temple, until it resonates and replicates a signature that is equal to or greater than. Whoa. Holy moly. Yeah. Like one of those those five hour energy uh, shots in 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 an electromagnetic form. <laughs> and because everyone's so sensitive now to this signature mm -hmm. energy frequency vibration, it will amplify if you say it so. Right. And you just have to say it in your mind. Amplify the energy and it Make it even greater than what Sifu said. Whoa. And that's all you need to do. You're in tune. You're in line. You're operating in gamma right now. You don't even know it. Mm -hmm. That's the power of what we do. And so your neurology, your mirror neurons are replicating everything that we're experiencing. And you're experiencing it yourself at home. That's the power of the zero point energy that's integrated. Ooh. Ooh. My goodness, wow. Well, I think that was uh, a lot. Yeah. I don't even know how we got on that. But, you know, that's an integration of manifestation. So let's be clear what we went over. We went over the fundamentals of manifestation, how to acquire manifestation, and using that signature, the feeling, to acquire it. Then, moreover, where does this abundant energy come from? The foundations of something that is so great that's been going on for tens of thousands of years within Taoists. And how did that be, become realized? And that through that portal, which is basically, you know, Jade Emperor being materialized through the integration of the transmutation of Earth and three star constellations realized as the Jade Emperor. Zero point energy, baby. Wow. And then understanding the sacred geometry that we use as Taoists, that we're using these these portals that are the the pyramids that instantly materialize the zero point energy, the black hole energy, at the top of the portal, giving you direct access to all things that you are the field. Yeah, and that feeling, I mean, you can get that instantly 
through the way 126. It's all been incorporated, those ancient tools, ancient rituals, ancient uh, rippling effects of energy is, is, you know, just dosed completely throughout the whole app. That's what we do, my friends. <laughs> right here, right now. You know, how you're asking yourself, how, how am I feeling energy through a video? How am I right. throwing, how am I feeling energy through the screen I'm watching at home or at work or on my phone? How am I feeling it? Same way, same way you feel it through the app. And that's it. It's all integrated. We're all integrated. You mm -hmm. are me. I am you. Teacher is the student. Student is the teacher. Your gift is your offering. Your offering is your gift. And that gift would be the present moment. Booyah! Mm -hmm. Say it so. Know it to be true. Realize it. And it is yours. Right here, right now. Yeah. The power of you. That's right. So on that note, I think um, we'll let the audience go off into sensory perception. <laughs> Open or close. You can close your eyes right now and magnify it at will with your attention intention using that because this signature has already been accessed you are in that vortex you are in that portal right now holy moly so go with it play with it enjoy it be with it it's yours and then you know do you have any closing Words for our audience. No, on that I, crash I mean, course on manifestation on neurology, soft technology that is their physical body, understanding how these things transpire into manifestation. Yeah, and I and I do just another reminder. It's like we're always manifesting all the time, whether you're manifesting, you know, the the worst day ever or the best day ever or just a day or whatever it is that you want. We're constantly manifesting and being able to really take control of that um, and get out of that autopilot, I think is, is the right. most, that's, Im the, that's the feeling. That's, that's the convergence of yin and yang. Yes, absolutely. And getting that exactly what Jade said is like 100% conscious, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm still feeling the uh, biological upgrade. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, it just depends on where you are, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. You may have feel it subside as it, it comes to completion. It gives you everything you need right here, right now. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, for those that are still upgrading, you will experience sitting in a fire hydrant blowing you <laughs> into another dimension. And that will be determined on how much stagnation is within your field, within your energy body that is realized within your physical body and then ultimately an amplification of your spirit body. Oh, yeah. And on that closing note. Oh, yes. Do, please do more. Let's, uh, let's close it out here with a little bit more energy, frequency, and vibration. I want to thank my delectable divine co-host yeah, I'm high priestess Jane I'm finally coherent enough to thank you back <laughs> right and I want to thank you beautiful beings for sharing mm. your time your consciousness your most precious mortality with us as we spend every day invested in making you the most profound expression of who you really are and I'm your humble servant and Sifu, Taoist Master San Quinn. And I will see you on the next one, guys. <laughs>